good evening YouTube. It is Halifax Farmers here and welcome to another video. Today, if you saw in the thumbnail, I'm going to talk you through my spooky pin collection. Um, I showed you this. It's a spooky box club pin flag but I've also got pins on my bag, a fake leather jacket and a black denim jacket. But before I go into all of my lovely pins please do remember to like this video give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel to hear more of my annoying self and leave me a comment down below do you collect pins do you know of any cool places apart from my Etsy and that that I can find pins and yeah let's get into the video so the first place that I'm gonna talk through is this which is a spooky box club pin flag because uh, every month when you get a spooky box club box you also get a pin so so this one here says the book was better that is from punky pins this cool cute spiderweb teacup is from spooky box club this one that says nap queen is also spooky box club and this one tell me a ghost story is spooky box club um key is spooky box club the toadstool the cauldron, this awesome spooky lantern, this sort of skeleton holding a cocktail, um, this you're my type Dracula blood one, I love that one. This little sort of Christmas jumper, I don't know if you can see what it says. This list of things to do is so cute, that spooky box club. This funerals and cremations one is spooky box club. This live deliciously pin, which I love, is spooky box club. And this little ghosty, I believe in you, is spooky box club. Um, so those are the ones that are Spooky Box Club on my flag. Um, as I said, the book was better, that's from Punky Pins. This radical feminist one is also from Punky Pins. Um, that's it from Punky Pins. And the next ones I'll talk about are from Curiology. I love the lady that runs it, she's so cool. So this cat skull is Curiology. Um, as are these three little spooky potion bottles they are curiology uh and this this little pin here which is actually this the sigil of hecate the hecate's astrological symbol that is curiology too then the only other two on my pin flag are this horde symbol which is the the symbol of the horde from world of warcraft i think this one is technically from the the warcraft movie because for the horde loktarogar down with the Alliance scum. And then this is my Hogwarts Prefect badge because I'm a Hufflepuff. This I would like to put on my robe, but because I keep my robe on my wardrobe, I'm a bit scared, so I'll keep it on there for now. So those are the pins that are on my little pin flag. Let's talk through my bag. This bag is just my normal everyday bag, which is from Killstar. Um, and again, I have a load of pins on here. So what I'm going to do again, a lot of them are from Spooky Box Club. So I'm going to talk about the Spooky Box Club ones first. So this pink sort of love heart that says anti-social or anti-social light is from Spooky Box Club. And this one that says um, I'll sleep when I'm dead is from Spooky Box Club. This little cutie pumpkin is Spooky Box Club. This little dead bird is Spooky Box Club. This flag that says Lona is Spooky Box Club. And this purple witch's hat Spooky Box Club. Then down on the bottom this sort of nightmare bed no sleep says uh yeah no sleep that spooky box club this awesome victorian sort of hand holding a snake one is spooky box club and this happy camper pin is spooky box club um i have a mina luma um hufflepuff badge this is a really cute uh cosmic vegan unicorn badge with loads of like crystals and stuff that he got me um and then up the top i just have this weird girl little pin badge that my sister-in-law got me at bloodstock a couple of years ago um i have a sort of centenary pin yeah this was the 1918 2018 centenary of the first world war and this one is one of my favorites it is the my mind has gone blank as to what it's called. Le Marchand, I'll, I'll put it here. Oh my God, I can't remember. But it's the puzzle cube from Hellraiser. So it's the puzzle cube. 
which is so good. L Lenormand? The Marshland configuration? I really cannot remember. I feel hideous. That I can't believe that I've forgotten. Um, I'm currently, this is a new uh, black denim jacket. Uh, that I got recently so I'm currently putting some pins on here um, on the back I've got a big ghost back patch so at the moment I don't have any pins on this denim jacket but I've got this cool it's actually from North Korea it's a like it's a North Korean style thing um, which I picked up when I went to the propaganda at North Korea or like design in North Korea um, exhibit at the London London School of Illustration. I can't, I'm so bad with remembering things today, but yeah. And then I've got a couple more, again, Spooky Box Club. So this one says Living Dead Girl. That's the Spooky Box Club. This is a little broomstick, which is from Spooky Box Club. And this cool little sort of ghosty hand says Nightmare Fool, which is from Spooky Box Club. And then this one says, Trust me, I'm a witch. And that one is from the mystery box that the beautiful heavy metal mama, Lolly, um, sent me. She put together a box for me, for Thunder Rider 66, Mel and Julie at uh, Mama Goth. So I will link the video where she puts them all together down below and I will link links to blogs and blogs and everything because those three ladies are amazing. So yeah, that's, that one is from Heavy Metal Mama. Finally, the other place I have my badges is on this. This is my, it's really old now, but it's a sort of fake leather jacket and I love it because it has a detachable fur hood. And this has got like the majority of my pins on it. Again, the majority of these pins are from Spooky Box Club, but I love a Spooky Box Club pin. So on this lapel, we have a little sort of voodoo cup drink from Spooky Box Club. This one says Psychic and it's a lovely moon and it's from Spooky Box Club. This coffin one is from Spooky Box Club. This Bite Me Heart is Spooky Box Club. This Victorian Hand and Flower is Spooky Box Club. This awesome sort of cuter skull is from Spooky Box Club. And then this is a funerary pin that says Our Darling, which is based on a real uh, Victorian funerary monument, I believe. That's Spooky Box Club. And then I just have a Hufflepuff badge there and then i just have some on the other lapel as well again quite a few from spooky box club but actually actually no there are less there's only two from three from spooky box club on this lapel so there is the other lapel so let's go from the top this little vampire one is from spooky box club this i'm sure this death's head moth is from spooky box club and this one here which is like a skeleton hand holding a quill is also from Spooky Box Club. Then I just have another Hufflepuff badge and a Hufflepuff crest badge there, because, you know, gotta represent. Then this pewter bat badge I actually bought um, from an RSPB shop on Holy Island in Anglesey, I think. So that's like a pewter bat badge from the RSPB because they look after bats too. Then I've got two from Mr. Kim Luna. So this one says your coffin on mine which is one of the first things that Pia ever bought for me. That was like a little in-joke. Um, and then this one's from Spooky Box Club that says Casket Crew. And finally, this is one of my favourites. It's from the Edinburgh Dungeons and it says Traitor's Gonna Trait. So yeah, those are my pins. That is my pin collection. I'm actually in the process of, of moving more pins onto my black denim jacket but yeah i love a pin i've got so many more favorited on like etsy and the curiology website miss kim luna like so those are the three main places that i would get a pin from uh punky pins which is on etsy as well um i currently i really want some mass effect dragon age and pokemon pins those are kind of the things on a really cute cthulhu one but yeah that's my pin collection let me know down below do you collect pins do you like pins where do you get your pins from if you do remember to like this video give me a little subscribe and i will see you in my next video goodbye